Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Princess Maker 2 Regeneration, which I received for free from the developer. In the last episode, we sent Tamaki out into the woods where she immediately got her face ripped off by a bug, so we are not doing that again. But she also met the future love of her life, even though she doesn't know it, and we're gonna play Matchmaker, as she has now entered her 13th year of life. She is now 146 centimeters tall, 42 kilos, which is this in Freedom Units. If I remember right, there it, the numbers do get a little stupid because there's like a point where she's 107 pounds and they're like, that's too fat, which is a little sad, but hey, uh, you gotta play the game you're presented with, you know? So, we have a pretty decent amount of war money now. Enough that we're going to send her to a magic school immediately. Uh, she's making 11 gold at the restaurant per day, which is very high. And we can even afford to... Hey, let's 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 put her on vacation. Or let's go on vacation with her, sure. That's usually, or at least in the previous versions, where we got um, inappropriate pictures of her. Which apparently have been censored in this new version. Um, some people are freaking out about it, but I'm like, we're normally dealing with a child who's... I mean, we're always dealing with a child. But there are some weirdly passionate people who want the full uncensored version of this game that used to exist. And, uh, boy... Those are not the circles I run in. Where are we going? The mountain or the ocean? Well, I hate mountains, so let's go to the ocean. Well, that's kind of cute. That's a very unflattering picture, but... I mean, swimsuit, but it's kind of cute. I like her winky face. Does that make her happy? She's down to 40 stress. Greetings and salutations to the young magic students all over the land. I am the object of your admiration, your idol, the world's greatest sorceress, Madame Fay. Bah! Oh, I see you've been hard at work. I just love to see children studying magic with such devotion. Today I've got a special reward just for you, Wink. Okay. Well, now I can't see. That's fine. The dazzling light enveloped the room, and in an instant, Faye had vanished. Somehow my mind feels clearer now. D Do you mean you're stupid? No. Magic skill increased by three. Alright. I mean, that's not really going to be a deal breaker here or a deal winner or whatever you whatever the opposite of a deal breaker is it's not going to be a game changer that, that's the word i'm looking for i mean three points is three points not horrible saves us in theory a few days of schooling which is more about the time than the money right now we don't have enough money to worry about it anyway that was some great work if you keep working yeah 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 give me money yeah, we're making a pretty decent living here at, I say we, as if I'm the one helping her cook, but it's fine. Um, I'm, I'm throwing everything I've got into magic right now, by the way, because that's going to be the easiest one to cap. Because with intelligence, it's out of a thousand, so we won't be able to cap that one without having an actual job or something eventually. So, oh yeah, it's Harvest Festival time. All right, let's do it. We can't get higher than 103 cooking, so I don't, I mean, without getting lucky. So, oh wait, it says a sensitive dish. I wonder if I need to bring up my sensitivity, which would be putting her back in the nursery for a while. Mm. Unless I'm overthinking that, but I believe that's the situation here. Because there's no way for me to get better cooking, so... I think this is what I'm gonna have to do. So juicy! That's... That's what you want to hear my voice saying on this channel. Um, uh, still didn't get in the top three. Man. Yeah. 
Tamaki's score was 95 points. So there's definitely some randomization, but we have to find a way to, like, push that up a little bit. Let's study magic again. And then we'll work at the nursery twice because I think that's the one that affects sensitivity. I'm sort of setting her up to be a freaking housewife again, which is upsetting me. But hopefully getting her magic skill up will stop that. Now, come to think of it, even at... What magic skill did she have in the last episode? Like, 53? She still really hammered that bug. I wonder if it's viable to just magic your way through some of the errant trees. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, nursing... Or, working at the nursery increases sensitivity. It costs glamour, but we're not really caring about glamour, so who cares? So I guess we'll keep working at the nursery for a while. I lose money as a result, or I'm not making as much money, but... Let's see if we can get her sensitivity up to about 200. Oh, she's sick. Damn it. Fine, take a, take a little time off. No, we're not sending her to the sanatorium. She's fine. She just needs... She needs a couple... She, she needs some time off, is what she needs. I think what's going on is the nursery is more stressful than the restaurant, so... What? Wait, 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 wait. The butler is taking care of her instead of me and I don't have to... Tamaki should take some time to rest. Who will attend to her? I will. It'll cost $100. That's fine. Falcon kept constant vigil over Tamaki and nursed her back to health. That did not seem to be any better. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have set her to work already. Ah, <sighs> yeah, her stress is now equal. No, it's slightly higher than her stamina. She's she's healthy again in theory, but she really needs. Uh... Okay, he's not there yet. It's only December. Um. Wow. All right, just take just take three times off. Yeah, just just do that. The lady stress has been built. Yeah, that's why we're doing this cube. Just calm your wings. I I know what I'm doing. I am the world's best dad. Look at this mug I have. The coffee mug in my hand right now. This says I am the world's best dad. Would a coffee mug lie to you, cube? Like that. One I got you for Christmas that says world's most annoying butler. You can't argue with the coffee mug. Arrived at the palace. And there's young military officer. What was- it? Oh, we meet again! So we really can't see each other unless it's January, huh? Tamaki enjoyed spending a few pleasant moments together with the young military officer, whose name we still don't know, apparently. Today was a lot of fun. Can we meet again next year? Okay. Sure, it's a promise. All right. Cool. Well, isn't it nice to see young love developing? Um, what's also developing is a drinking habit that I'm going to have. The more I have to deal with both of these idiots. Here, nursery, work, nursery, work, nursery, slow down, Pyro. Click the right damn buttons. Okay. More stamina, more sensitive. Oh, that's the hint. She says stamina is really important in this job. So what that's hinting at is the fact that your stress piles up quickly in this particular job. I just want to win the freaking cooking contest. I mean, maybe sensitivity doesn't actually apply to it, but we'll know here. I mean, remember last year when she got, when she did the, um... Harvest Festival, she got 100 points even. This last time, she got 95 points even. If this is getting us higher than that, then I know I'm on the right track. And if it's not, I'm just wasting Tamaki's time. But that's fine. Again, part of this game is experimenting and having fun and messing around. I remember when I looked this game up on GameFAQs, that was back when... 
the FAQs on Game Facts were really robust. Um, I mean, they probably still are, but like the standard of writing is so was so much better when you didn't have wikis to work with. Like you had to make sure you were right. And Princess Maker's facts had a lot of checklists and how tos and like if you want this ending get this set of points by this date and you can get it and i'm like i don't want to play that way it was interesting to look at um especially if you don't think you're going to be playing the game a tremendous number of times seeing what you can do is interesting but it's just not how I want to play, so we're just going to go from here. I should check the main menu of this game. I'm going to after this run. Hold on one second. I say as if you have any choice. Um, we're going to save this. Oh, never mind. We're still in the middle of the month. I'm so impatient, man. Okay, we didn't quite get her. We'll get her to 200 um, sensitivity before the Harvest Festival. Okay, I'm going to save real quick. Save over slot 5. We're going to... Don't close the game! Just go to the main menu. Okay, thank you. So... Okay... Endings. Okay, so they give a little hint. What I was going to say was I would like to see in the game a way to get a hint about how to achieve certain endings. And you get pictures? Which is interesting. I kind of like the pictures. Like, this, it looks like... Oh, she's probably holding a spear. It looked like she was wearing a batting helmet. She was stepping up to the plate. Anyway, this allows you to sort of preview what's in the game. I think this one's the high-class harlot. Um, yeah, so you can... What the flip is going on with the purple hair there? Anyway, so you can sort of try to guess what to do or what you want to do. This one's the demon lord <laughs> thing. Um... But there's no direct hint there that's like, in order to get this ending, you should go for this. Which I think would be really helpful, but whatever. Okay, so what was I doing with you? Uh, you are a little stressed out. Okay, work at your sensitivity and then take two times off. Because you are stressing out pretty fierce. She's also not growing very tall, so that may have a blood type situation, too. Well, she's getting there. Looks like I can drop 50 stress per time off, so she's, she's doing alright. That will get her over 200 sensitivity. And then we can just have her work the restaurant to start getting our money back. At least I'm getting money consistently now, now that she's 13. Instead of scraping by and living paycheck to paycheck. She's finally earning her keep. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Her stress just does not go up. Well... Well, her stress is going up two points a day. When she's doing nursery, it's three points a day. I didn't think it would be that much of a difference, but yeah, I guess it's 50% more, so I guess it adds up quickly. Anyway, if she cannot win... If, if her dish at the Harvest Festival is still not as good, then this year's summer is extremely hot. I'm worried about the lady's condition. But your daughter is wearing her summer clothes, so there's no need to worry. Thank goodness! Yeah, see how that works? Okay. Um. Yeah, man. I mean, there's not much more to do here. What I need to do is have her study. Let's see. Doot, boop, boop. And then time off. There you go. Have fun. 
I've never done a run where I just leave her on vacation for the entire time, but that sounds like a fun project to do, especially for some of the other princess makers. Uh, okay. There's no need for you to continue training at the beginner level. Starting next session, we'll be moving to the intermediate level. So if I remember right, that's more expensive, but gets you bigger gains. Which means we're going to be capping out magic very quickly. And then the rest of our money will be spent teaching her the sciences. Uh, no pocket money. And there we go. Now she's a little taller. Nope, no birthday present. She doesn't need one. I don't care. 14 years old, and we've only been going 15 minutes. She can be a barmaid. <laughs> She's 14. Boy, I love Princess Maker. Yep, she can be a tutor, or a, she can work at the bar. Well, tutor will be nice. That'll help her with her intelligence, and it's pretty high value. Um, let's get her started down that path, because that'll allow me to afford a crap load in school. Schooling. Anyway... Um, we're only at 16 minutes. I'm going to do another year. So, do the science school, and then work as a tutor, and then take some time off, because I don't know what that's going to do to your stress. Master, don't you think the lady should make her debut into society? Nope, don't care. We're not going to be a socialite. Couldn't care less about it. Uh, alchemist, blah, blah, blah. Intelligence going up. Faith going down, but not very much. She is no longer a complete moron. Just mostly a moron. Okay. A girl called out to Tamaki as she was hurrying home. That's a girl? You wouldn't happen to be the hero's daughter, would you? Yes, but who are you? Wow, she her jawline has changed her uh suddenly becoming 14 changes the body i knew it as soon as i laid eyes on you i knew you were the hero's adopted daughter the up-and-coming magical girl everyone's talking about magical girl don't be shy you should enjoy it while it lasts what does that mean what do you mean Silly me, I should introduce myself. My name's Wendy. I'm a 14-year-old magical girl just like you. Uh, could you please stop saying magical girl? It's kind of embarrassing. My goal is to knock you down a peg and become the number one magical bit, I mean girl. After that, I'll go on to become the next best magician in the kingdom and spend my old age... In the lap of luxury. Okay. I can't tell if she thinks defeating me is some great ambition or not. Anyway, going to church is fine and all, but make sure you show up at the next combat tournament. I'll be waiting for you. Oh. All right, let's both train hard together so we can become top-notch magicians. Magical girls. Ugh. I want to vomit on my microphone. Tamaki and Wendy have become rivals. Is this a fateful encounter or just a comedic episode? I think I'm having an episode. Whatever the case, Tamaki had made a fresh start. Stress reduced to zero. Oh, good. Um, so you're in the new tutor. You seem a bit young. Can you handle it? Yes? Morality up. Stress up. Stress is way up. That's seven points of tech. Morality is great. But, like... That's not getting intelligence up, so we're abandoning that immediately. No interest finishing that off at all. We're going to just stick with doing restaurant work, because that is consistent cash. Um, we can do three. And we can start, we can get her back into magical school after this. Because I will get paid. Oh! Uh, she's 14 now. Let's get her vitals. She's 148 centimeters tall, 43 kilos. That is this in freedom units. Okay. Still, man, we are racking up the cash. We'll have enough after I get my stipend to send her right back to magical school. I wish I could accelerate that a little bit, but now that she's in the intermediate class, maybe we'll get closer there. I mean, if her ending is just she becomes a witch or a warlock or a wizard or a whatever, 
and she just throws spells at people like Wendy and melts their faces off. I'm not going to be upset about it. Black Mage mains are very good <laughs> classes that do a lot of damage. All right, but first, the Harvest Festival. Um, cooking contest. I really want to enter the combat tournament. I already promised Wendy. Too fucking bad. It seems your daughter wants to participate in the combat tournament. Would you like to change plans? Nope, this is fine. What a bummer. Tamaki's stress increased by 10. I don't care. Make me money, then we can discuss whether you get to do what you want to do. I'm a good dad. I should be drinking beer while I play this game, so I'm drinking a, a hob blast of, from Mountain Dew. Shut up. Get to the cooking. Let's go, Tamaki! I believe in you, or whatever. Uh, bursting with flavors, Choo Choo. Are oh, you testing me? Munch. Such a fluffy texture! Okay, can we get to the announcements here? Tamaki wins! I told you it was all about the sensitivity. It hinted at it because it said a sensitive meal. So there you go. Sensitivity 200. Oh, you know what? No, never mind. The math was wrong. I was wondering if it was like 50% of sensitivity plus cooking. Because that would make it... You know what? It still could be. Because sensitivity plus cooking is 309. So half of that would be 154. And then you add some little RNG numbers here and there. That could get you close to 161. Tamaki's dish French omelette wins with a score of 161 points. Thank you very much. I'll have to let my father know right away. What? Was I not here in attendance? It was so delicious that I was licking my face all wide. Okay, great. $3,000 and a paradise egg, whatever the tits that is. And we popped an achievement. That's what I'm talking about, Tamaki. Fist bump. Master, I must offer my congratulations to your daughter on winning the cooking contest. Such a victory is a testament to her fine upbringing. Blow me more, Cube. You're sure are laying it on thick, Cube. What did you say, Dad? Now onto the matter of the paradise egg. Shall I go ahead and prepare it? What? You want me to eat it? Uh, huh? Well, a paradise egg is typically for eating, yes. But it's such a cute egg. Oh, I can't remember. I think eating it boosts a stat really high. Not eating it has some sort of benefit. Ah, screw it. We're carnivores. All right, then. Just a moment while I prepare it. Sniffle, poor bird, munch, but <laughs> it's delicious. It's not just lucky, but good for your health, too. Ta wow, Tamaki's stamina increased by 50. Uh, it's not bad. Better if we had her doing a combat roll, but not bad. Although that's not a bad setup for actually entering the combat tournament next year. Um, if we don't want to do... If we don't want to guarantee the money for some reason. Um, okay. So, back to work. We are going to study our asses off now. Um, yes, because the amount that the magic costs... Uh, or the ooh, That was almost English. The cost of the magic school is much higher now. So... Yeah, and we can afford to take a vacation. She earned it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's let's get some numbers. Let's get that capped. We're so close to getting it capped. Uh, what's your name? Tamaki. Just keep... Don't worry that I forgot my own daughter's name. It's not important. 12 more points of magic skill. So if she repeats that performance, magic skill will cap, but magic attack will still be a little behind. That's okay, though, man. She's got enough that we can... Like, if we have to do one more class, who gives a crap? Come on, Tamaki. Oh, magic skill can go above 100. It's still, the meter is still out of 100, which means that's the only thing that matters. Um, 
Autumn vacation. She's being all cute. Her stress is down. Great. We still have cash. Uh, we're experiencing a cold spell. Shall we have her change clothes? Yes. Bam. These clothes are warm. I'm feeling great. Okay. Excellent. One more study session at magic school. And then two science schools. Not work. There we go. You got this, uh, Tamaki. Because as long as she hits over 100 on both of these, I'm happy. There we go. I don't even need to worry about anything. In fact, it's not even moving anymore. Yeah, this is good. This is, this is perfect. This is all we need. So now we're going to keep working on science. Is magic defense supposed to go down here? It's certainly not going up. I know faith is supposed to go down. The more you know about science, the less you take it on faith, which makes sense. Um, but either way, we're not going to have to have her work for a while. Hell, we might even have enough money. Like, if we keep this routine up, maybe we'll never have to work again. Yoo-hoo, I'm back! Oh, Madam Fay. Hi, hi, how you been? I'm delighted to see you're continuing your studies in magic. Now here's your reward. I'm blind forever! A dazzling light enveloped the room, and in an instant, Faye had vanished. Yeah, you're welcome. I don't know why I'm saying that. Magic attack increased by four. Okay, both of those numbers are higher than uh, maximum, which is great. Let's get back to studying the sciences. Hell yeah. You are already so much more interesting than you would have been as just a mere housekeeper. So she better not turn into one. <laughs> uh, my daughters, my virtual daughters are like my real daughters. Not that I have any, but I'm saying that like... <sighs> I forgot how much I love these games. It's been a while since I have played any raising games. There's even one, I don't want to say the title yet, but there's even one that I bought many, many moons ago for the channel that I never played, um, but I'm going to do that. So just, it might not be, uh, it, it might not be for a minute since, you know, we've got this going on right now. Oh shit, did I miss the what's his bucket? Wait, did I miss the prince? Wait, hold on. No, it's still January. F well, okay, we're, we're good. Everyone calm down. We're good. Uh, young military. Ah, oh, we meet again. Tamaki enjoyed spending a few hours. Today was a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, more studying to science. Now I'm in the B class on that one. Now we'll have to get back to work, but that's okay, because um, I can push her further since her stamina went up to 178, and we have the money that we're covered, and next year we're not going to have the magic classes, so our costs will go down for, for the schooling and such. So this is working out really well. I'm, I'm happy with this. If I remember right, in order to be a princess, which I believe is considered the best ending, you can also be a queen, but princess is better for whatever reason. Um, in order to be a princess, you have to hit over 80% in a bunch of different skills, and it requires some very careful finagling to do. Um, but luckily, we're not worrying about that. I tend to prefer min-maxing because it's easier on my poor brain. So, we're just going to keep dumping points into her intelligence and her magic and her cooking, and then everything will be fine. Yeah, everything's going well. Right, Tamaki? I'm probably pronouncing her name wrong. <laughs> because I'm bad at the Japanese names. Anyway, look at that. Her stress is 156 and she's not feeling it. As long as your stress is under your stamina, you're fine. So, 
Oh, Ooh, but she had a few misses there, I noticed. Oh, I guess stress is a modifier on the chance to succeed, too. Uh-oh. Well, now her stress is high. My bad, Tomoki. Um, well, you're not dead yet, so let's give you a vacation. And then two time offs? Times offs? Yeah, that should... That should do better. Uh, we're going to the mountains, because... No, we're not. Screw the mountains. Sticking with the ocean. Are you cleaning up litter from around the beach? What are you doing? Welcome back. Did you have fun at the ocean? Give her pocket money now. Oh, man. Maybe I should give her pocket money. Her stress is really high. All right, here's some here's some pocket money. Yeah, that was that's a lot better. Okay. Good. Oh, look at how deliriously happy she is. She is possibly going to stab a bird in the middle of the night and giggle over its corpse. But until that happens, she can keep working at the restaurant. Especially since we're kind of poor now. I mean. Even though she has high stamina, I really shouldn't push this. Clearly. Yeah, stress must be a modifier, because... She's doing alright. I mean, now she's nailing every single work shift. So... I just let her stress get too high. She can easily do three in a row, though. Okay, 50% bonus. So three in a row is getting her to about... 50 stress. Which I can erase by just giving her money. Huh. Okay. Do uh, two more and then we'll give you time off, but I will give you money this time. How about that? She did a good job today. Everyone's happy. She's chopping and cooking. But she did have a miss there. Interesting. Because she's been damn near perfect for a while now, and now she's whiffing a lot. Weird. Uh, no. Change my mind. You don't. You don't deserve getting money after a performance like that. <laughs> I'm a good dad. Shut up. Okay. Work. Work. Time off with no money. Maybe I just need to limit her to two shifts and then a time off with no money. That probably is going to keep a decent work-life balance. I mean, who wants to work 31 straight days, you know? Even in these days, that wasn't exactly good or fun. It was expected. It was common, but that doesn't mean it was healthy. Back in these days, most people weren't living to 40, so... Oops, didn't mean to give her cash. She just yanked my wallet out of my hands and ran off. No, I'm not buying her a present. My present was giving her my wallet. That was so much fun. I'm glad it was. She's turned 15 and can now work as a barmaid at the sleazy bar. Great. What every 15-year-old dreams of. So that's going to do it for today. Uh, we only have four years left. Four? Wait. One. No, three. Holy crap. We're going to be done with this very quickly. Um, Maybe I should just cram this all into one super episode in the next one. I'll give it some thought. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode. No, you know what? We'll make it six episodes. That way we've got a Monday, uh, we got a Sunday through Friday schedule. Ah, see, that's me planning ahead. That's something I didn't used to do in the channel before 2024. Anyway, I will see you again tomorrow for another episode. Like I said, good job, Tomaki. Keep winning and win again this year when you go to the Harvest Festival.